Project Zephyrus is one of those customers which is up to date, gives you update almost every month and kind of underrated and it is quite stable. I tried this custom some time ago then after some time I used that for some time but I was not able to make a video on this one but we are here with the July security patch project Zephyrus version is 13.8 Android version is 13 and we are having the July security patch. This is one of those customers which you should give it a try at least once on advice why so because it brings you some customizations it gives you some stability all the pixel goodies and this is a must try custom home if it is available for your device let's take a quick look at some of the things which are included here firstly as it is having all the pixel goodies which means you have pixel launcher pre-installed if you want to try out any other launcher it's very easy you can try by installing some magisk modules or you can even try like nova launcher without even rooting your device secondly if you move on to the quick settings panel you are able to notice the quick settings panel is in dark mode as I just mentioned at the starting of the video that it is having all the pixel goodies which means like in pixel experience or pixel devices what you have by default is a dark quick settings panel and that is what you have in project Zephyrus. You also don't have that separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles but that is completely fine you can get that very easily even without rooting your device. Another thing is the settings UI. It is not giving you any kind of customizations in settings UI I mean to say any customization hub that separate option where have all the customizations not like that but it still brings you a lot of customizations we'll talk about that firstly if you move on to wallpapers and style options you can see the new ui is implemented like this one where you can customize the clock settings you have the option to customize the clock size you have the option to customize the clock color it's totally up to you and this thing firstly when i saw this was in pixie sos with the with the june security patch i think so and i tried this project zephyrus after some time you can customize a home screen and lock screen wallpapers and it is not a pixel launcher mod so which means all the app grid options are same like the stock one moving on to the security options you'll be able to notice we have the fingerprint support we have the face unlock support which means nothing is compromised here as you can see like fingerprint or face unlock but one thing keep in mind as it is having all the pixel features which means by default in pixel devices you don't have that app lock available so this is what we have we don't have the app lock included if you use app lock then this one is not for you Moving on to the display options and here are some customizations which we were which were we were talking about. You can see the brightness control gestures where I can simply adjust my brightness by sliding across the status bar. You have the option for let me show you dark theme double tap to lock double tap on the lock screen to sleep. So if you use this feature these kind of gestures you can use that very easily in project Zephyrus too. Some icons which you can enable or disable from status bar very, very easily but we have the volt and Wi-Fi icons available which is not available in pixel devices by default so that's interesting we also have the secure quick setting tiles option so that is really useful if you're using a protected I mean if you're using lock screen password then this is a really really useful option for you in battery section another one of the most interesting thing is the battery usage chart if you're not satisfied with the pixel style battery usage chart you can choose the default one or you can if you simply use this new battery usage style which is same like pixel one so it's totally up to you it's kind of optional but battery icon style is only three options as expectedly but if some other extra battery icon options were there that would be really amazing moving on to the network and internet options here are some of the extra options some of the extra customizations for you for example the 4g icon which you can enable or disable data usage option if one of you definitely use i think so if some of you use this feature this is really useful and last but not the least network traffic indicator which of course you can enable by installing some third party apps too but if it is available by default i think so you love that as expectedly that ignore windows secure flags is also there which will simply remove the restrictions from the apps where you can't record screen by default you can't take screenshots by default but by enabling this option you can simply remove that restriction moving on to the vibration and haptics option you can see some options like system slider quick setting tiles haptic face unlock vibration so more vibration options if you use that to be very honest i don't use vibration much i only use vibration for calls but else i don't use it at all but if you use it we have four extra options available for you in notification options we have the options related to like notifications like small landscape notifications or that heads up notifications where you have 
have that make heads up less annoying but reticker notification styles are not available unfortunately so if you need that you have to try out any other customer because this feature is not present here in gestures options you can see all the features like the quick tap to start actions which is available in the pixel based custom rooms or pixel os pixel devices we have that option available here swipe to screenshot should be and shall be available in every custom room and it is present so no worries about that quickly open camera system navigation one thing let me tell you you have the option named as immersive gestures which i am not sure though why because as you can see remove navigation bar height while keeping the gesture pill but if i enable this option and if i go back and try to show you let me show you once here as you can see this is how the ui is looking like that did not happen that is actually not giving you any kind of any kind of benefits right now i mean it's not working maybe it's just in my case maybe it is fixed in your case but in my case this is what we have so we don't have that thing working called immersive gestures but yes you can simply ignore this i mean if you don't use that or you can simply use modules for that advanced restart options as expectedly because if you're using custom room these options shall be present it's there camera might be device specific but most of the devices will definitely get this aperture camera aperture camera is actually kind of most underrated camera app if you are a custom room user because in custom room like in the previous times with android 9 or android 10 times that snap camera was not good at all you had to install google camera and some other options but in this one while android 12 or android 13 you have the aperture camera and this is amazing in almost every aosp based custom room, this is available so you, this is what you need as it is having all the pixel features so how we can forget about live caption that's also present here you don't need to install any kind of modules to enable this option called live caption which simply detects the speech on a device and it automatically generate captions from that and this is one of the features i think so a lot of users use this last but not the least ota update is also present so if in case if you want to update through OTA, i personally do not recommend you and i don't use that i don't know why but i don't like that by default if you clean flash a custom room that is better because if you're a custom room user you need that one thing we also missed is the live translate as it is having all the pixel features so live translate is also present by chance if you need that these were things i just wanted to let you know and uh, this is about today's short and simple video if you want to install this project zephyris and if it is available officially for your device link is available in the description and by any chance if it is not available for your device you can check out if it is available unofficially but if you want to install any gis sector you can check it out but these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this i will see the next one until then goodbye